الله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين مولانا محمد صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه وبعد أمواء مسجرما السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته زامو تاشي نمكوانا جيا منا جكي سورة السجدة زامو تاشي كان آية تبو مشاشدة inda Allah ta'ala mai girma da kake cewa ta tajafa junubu ta tajafa junubu ma'an al-madaji'i yad'una rabbahum khawfan wa tama'an wato hakar kuran su na nisan ta daga wuraren kwanciyar su hakar karin su wadda shi yake kwanciya akai sansanin jikin su kenan yana nisan ta makwanciyar su yana nisan ta inda suke kwance bima na sai su tashi daga bacci kina ya ne na barin bacci barin makwanciyar da mutum yake kwance akai dan ya cimma wani aiki wadda ita ce sallah su wannan bayan Allah suna nisan tan wajen kwanciyar su suna yin ibada mafi girma bayan tauhidi shine sallah kuma wannan nau'i na ibada Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala ya sanya annabi Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam ya dinga kuma har ya koma ga Allah yana mai yin sallan dare kamar wajibi ne akan sa wa min al-layli fa tahajjad bihi nafilatan laka asa an yu'athaka rabbuka maqama mahmuda Allah ta'ala ya umurce shi annabi Muhammad ya tashi cikin dare ya tsaye yi sallah ya zanto karin daukaka ne a zuwa gare shi shi sa Aisha radiyallahu anha Allah ya kara mata yadda da rahama ta ce annabi sai kan tsayawa a dare har sai kafafun sun kumbura saboda tsaiwa har sai ta tambaye ta ce ya kai manzo sun sallam Allah ya gafarta maka zunubanka menene wannan wahala yace da ita awala akuna abdan shukura shin bana kasance cikin bayi masu godiya ba kuma lalla illa qalila ka tsaya cikin dare sai dai kadan annabi sai yana tsayawa cikin dare fiye da lokutan da yake wato ainihin hutawa a cikin dare saboda ibada ta sallah to shi sa bayi na kwarai bayi masu girma matsayi babba wajen Allah ta'ala to dolan su ne su himmatu wajen tsayuwar sallan dare a shi sa kanu qalilan minal layli ma yaj'un sun kasance kadan ne cikin dare da suke hutawa wato mafi yawancin daren su suna tsaye ne wannan ibada na sallah cikin dare yana da fa'idodi masu yawa farko dai yana nuna ikhlasin mai yin wannan sallah yana yi ne don Allah domin babu kowa ta rashi ba sallan jami'i bane a masallaci na juma'a da kowa zai taru ko sallan azhar wadda kowa yana nan ana ganin waye mai zuwa waye mai mai zuwa a daga shi sai ubangiji sa an samu da sabon da suke a tamatan su ba sa sani sai su yi sallah su yi sallah iyalan su ba su sani haka ma za ka samu wasu matan suna yi ba zan su ba su sani ba a ko da kuma aka yadda shar'ata shar'anta in ka tashi ka tashe ta kamar ya fa mata ruwa a idan ta kadan ba mutun ya dauko bokitin ruwa ya kwarara a ita fada ba ita ma in ta tashi saboda gajiyan aiki na fita ta yi namiji ka sa tashi saboda aikin gona ko aikin office ko aikin kasuwa ita ma an yadda ta yayya fa ruwa a fuskar mai gidanta domin ya tashi su ibada tare idan ta san ba zai fada ba ita san zai tashi zagi zage ko kuma ya fada magana wadda ba da mai nace ba ta yi sallah ta yi addu'a 
shi ma ka zalika a da yawa cikin sahabar mazo sun sallam suna yawan sallan gare Allah ta'ala musu yabo da wannan ibada na gare wanda akwai cikin ikhlasi a cikin sa kuma akwai gajiya akwai yawan lada akwai kulla alaka da Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala mai karfi da masu sallan gare akwai annuri wanda Allah ta'ala ke sanyawa a fuskokin bayan sa masu sallan gare Allah ta'ala ce yaduuna rabbahum suna kirayin ubangijin su khaufan suna masu jin tsoron azaban Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala khauf shine tsoro mai suke roho kada Allah ta'ala ya mutu azaban kowa ina cikin sanadiyya abin da yake samu mai ke cikin dare mutane suna bacci su suna sallah wa tama'an da kuma wato ainihin kwadai kwadayin mai kwadayin aljanna da ni'imomi da Allah ta'ala ya tanadan ma bayin sa ko ba kiyama kaga an fadi dalilai manya manya guda biyu na wannan tsaiwa tsoro da kwadai tsammani tsoro na azaba kwadai na rahma Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala da abin da ya tanadan ma bayin sa na gargari a cikin aljanna wannan suna cikin maksudi ne wannan sallah to idan mutum ya fahimci wannan bai kamata a rasa shi cikin masu sallan dare ba kuma in mutum yana tashi cikin dare ya koda raka'a biyu ne to shi ma za a rubuta shi cikin masu sallan dare kada mutum ya rena abin da zai yi kada ya ci a dole sai ya sauki qur'ani sai ya karanta bakara sai ya karanta manyan manyan sori kamar inda annabi muhammad sai ya ke da manyan manyan sahaba ko kulluwa da falaki ko kulluwa da nasi ko kulliya yawal kafirun suratul kafirun da class ka iya tashi ka ka raka'a biyu ka koma kwanta za a sanya ka cikin masu sallan dare illa kowanne da darajar da za a bashi Allah ya sanya mu cikin masu sallan dare to za ka samu lokacin ramadan ana kokari za ka samu su sallate sun cika lokacin tarawi kuma in an zo sallan dare wanda ake tashi wannan karfe da biyu za ka samu masallati sun cika har da mata to Allah ta'ala ya sare mana a Najeriya wannan to matsalan shine idan Ramadan ya wuce to wani kuma yayi baya baya sai shekara mai zuwa inda ake so shine mutum ya dage bayan Ramadan ta wuce ko da raka biyu ne ko hudu ko shida ko takwas ko goma zuwa sha da ko sha mutum ya samu wani kaso na dare yana annabi Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam ya kasance idan bai sallan dare ba saboda nauyin bacci da ayyuka da yadda yini to yana rama su yana rama sallan dare raka a goma sha biyu a lokacin wala'a kage da ya dauki abun kaman farilla to idan mutun ya saba yi in bai yi ba shi ma yana iya rama ba khususi a bacci ta annabi muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam illa shi mu kuma Allah ta'ala ya kawo mana sauki in mutun yayi samu lada in bai bubawa a lafiya kan sa wa mimma razaqnahum yunfiquna cikin abin da muka hore musu muka azzuta su da shi suna ciyarwa ga wannan ita ma siffa ce babba ga ciyarwa ga sallan dare ga rashin girman kai ga idan an tunatar da su suna tunawa wannan su fofi ne duka masu kyau musulmin kwarai wadda ke so darajar su ta kai na masu kyau tutawa ya kamata ya kula da wannan su fofi domin da su gobe kiyama zai samu daraja kyabba ko mimma razaqna wa yunfiquna cikin abin da muka azzuta su da shi suna ciyarwa kenan azziki da manda ga Allah ne mimma razaqna hu mu muka azzuta su da shi to suna ciyarwa suna bayarwa kuma za ka samu cikin bayan Allah akwai da yawa masu yin haka Allah ya azzuta su suna ciyarwa suna bayarwa kuma wannan bayar yake azzikin mai azziki ciyarwa da bayarwa bayar yake azzikin masu azziki hasali yana kara masu azziki ne a duniya yana kara masu dauka ko ko kiyawa shi in fak wato bayarwa ba kowa ne Allah ya hore ba wasu za ka san tare dukiya amma ba za su iya bada shi wani kuma Allah bai bashi da yawa ba amma zai iya bayarwa saka siffa ce 
ta wato ainihin mutanen da ba su da tsoro matsoro shi bai iya bayarwa ko ya tara duniya amma shi ba zai bayarwa saboda a suffa ce ta mutanen da Allah ta bar ko ta ala ya ba su zuciya na iyi na iyi sai ga wani ya ba ya ba ya ba ya gajiya da bayarwa hasan shi ai bi ne ma a ce bai bayarwa saboda jarumi ne shi wa matsoro shi kowa ya tara duniya ba zai ba don tsoro ke kada ya bayar ya kare har ya mutu bai bayar ba amma shi sa su a laraba duk wanda ke bayarwa jarumi ne duk wanda bai bayarwa matsoro ce kuma ka dubi siffan nan guda bi tare suke duk duk wato ainihin jarumi zai ba da abin da Allah ya bashi duk matsoro ce ba zai bayarwa sai dai su ta fada da hajiya ita ba ta fi karfin shi sai dai ta sata ta bayar a boye ko kuma ta bayar a sarari amma shi sai dai ya irga ya aji to shi siffa na tsoro ba siffa ne na mu'minin kwarai ba mu'mini jarumi ne ba matsoro ce ne Allah ya kara wani imani san ya wuce masu bayarwa na so we read up to verse 15 of surah to sajada where allah the most high mentions some qualities of those who believe in him mu'minun he said that there are those when they are reminded of the verses of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because the, of the impact they make in them qaru sujada they fall down prostrating themselves before allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and they glorify along with praises of their lord allah the most high and they were never arrogant in continuation with this description of their qualities given to them by allah the most high he says tatajafa junubuhum anil mudajiri their sides lifts up mudaj their beds yad'una rabbahum khawfan wa tama'a standing calling allah subhanahu wa ta'ala khawfan while they were in fear wa tama'an in hope of allah's mercy so this is one of the qualities of the believers they in addition to discharging the obligation of prayers they also observe voluntary prayers in the night so they do not sleep throughout the night rather they stand praying ruku sujood and this is one of the best qualities of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he used to observe lengthy rak'at to the extent that his feet swell up then when aisha radiyallahu anha sympathized with him seeing the condition he was uh, undergoing that why should he continue giving himself this kind of trouble after all if it is forgiveness allah the most high has already forgiven him what else did he want from allah the most high then the messenger of allah sallallahu alaihi wasallam replied by saying awala akuna abdan shakura should i not be a grateful servant for all the pleasures for all the bounties that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bestowed on me therefore it is a sign of gratitude and thanks given to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala if he blesses you you stand up in the night when no one sees you no one knows what you are doing you pray and register your thanks to allah the most high that's how the servants of allah are to the extent that some observe their prayers in the night even their spouses do not know you pray in the night your wife does not know or she prays in the night while you do not know all these are qualities of the believers and sometimes they wake up together they observe the prayers uh, together or she wakes up and then she try to wake up her husband just as it is recommended in the sunnah of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam where he said may allah have mercy on he meaning a head of family who wake up in the night to observe voluntary prayer and then in extension he wake up his say why if she refuses to wake up he rub her face with the water so that she feel cool and then she can wake up and the and the vice versa may allah have mercy on that woman 
who wake up in the night to observe voluntary prayers and also wake up her husband if he refuses she rub his face with the water in order for him to wake up. However, if you know that your husband is a quarrelsome person, is a troublesome person, don't go and uh, pour water on him and then he end up blowing you in the night, nobody will, will save you. So, so if you know your wife is such a quarrelsome who will gather everybody in the neighborhood just because he wake her up, just allow her to continue sleeping. When you finish your prayer, pray for her so that Allah will rescue her from, the, uh, from this heavy sleep. So it is a very good attitude and quality of the believers which they, uh, they uh, maintain right from the companions up to this moment and up to the end of uh, this uh, world. Uh, so also, uh, this, uh, the prayer, uh, voluntary prayers is of uh, great importance. As of the Prophet Wasallam, it was made compulsory. Just a duty, just as we observe five daily prayers, the Prophet Wasallam was a duty on him to wake up every night and observe that his lengthy prayers. Allah says, وَمِنَ اللَّيْلِ فَتَحَجَدْ بِهِ نَزْلِ تَلَّقْ عَسَىٰ أَنْ يَبْعَثَكَ رَبُّكَ مَقَامًا مَحْمُودًا And uh, concerning the believers, Allah described them as كَانُوا قَلِيلًا مِنَ اللَّيْلِ مَا يَحْجَعُونَ It is only few hours of the night which they used to sleep. وَبِلْ أَصْحَارِ هُمْ يَسْتَكْفِرُونَ And you find them uh, devoting themselves in asking for Allah's forgiveness بِلْ أَصْحَارِ in the last quarter of the night. So you should venture into this great activity so that you benefit from the, uh, from the uh, blessings of a Salat layl such as having direct connection with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Number two, also uh, to uh, certify you as someone who worships Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala without any traces of riya. Because someone who want to uh, show off his, uh, his uh, piety will, not, will never wake up in the night while no one sees him. He will only make sure that it is maybe in congregation where people will see him and say, this one must be a powerful mala, this must be a powerful brother. Uh -huh. that, that is his aim and that's the end of his reward. That's the only thing he will gain from that. So it is an indication that, that uh, one is a sincere worshiper to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for him to be wakened up in the night while no one sees him, no one will praise him, but he has that belief that Allah the Most High sees him. Allah the Most High take recognition of him. Allah has registered his name among those who are his sincere servants. It eliminates one's heart and face. Night prayers makes one's face to be shining. It's also hard to be shining. Therefore, he would that clear indication that he is a good servant of Allah. So many uh, bounties and benefits of night prayer are there. So these believers, uh, these servants, tatajafa junubuhum anil madaji. It's not servant to servant. When they, they start sleeping, nothing will wake them up. And then it is only when it is daybreak. No. And yad'una rabbahum khawfan wa tama'a. The night they engage in asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala khawfan. While they are fearing the punishment of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and as well as tama'a. Putting hope in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for his rahmah. May Allah make us among them. Wa mimma razaqanahum yunfiqoon. Another quality of these uh, special believers that from what we uh, provide them of wealth, yunfiqoon, they used to spend. They assist. They feed those who are in need. Feeding a needy attracts mighty reward and beautiful and handsome reward from Allah the Most High. So also, it is not everyone who can be able to give out. Anybody who has the quality of giving out, you will find out that person must be a courageous person. He does not fear poverty. But someone who fears poverty, no matter how much he owns, you see him withholding. But someone who did not even have even one, one, one of a hundred of what he has, 
if we see him spending, spending, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be replenishing him. Because the more you spend, the more Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives you. The more you withhold, the more Allah most high withholds his reward and also withholds increase in that wealth. So, mimma razaqanahum yunfiqun, from what we provided them of wealth, yunfiquna, they assist, they feed, they spend uh, in order to assist those who are in need. فَلَا تَعْلَمُ نَفْسٌ مَّا أُخْفِيَ لَهُمْ مِنْ قُرَّةِ عَيُّنٍ جَزَاءً بِمَا كَانُوا يَعْمَلُونَ اللَّهَ تَعَلَى كِي فَلَا تَعْلَمُ نَفْسٌ مَّا أُخْفِيَ لَهُمْ بَابُ رَيْ وَرِدْ سَنْ عَبِنْدَ أَكْقُوِي مُسْ وَدَذَا عَبَاسُ هُوَ كِيَامَ بَابُ رَنْدَ تَسَنْشِ Bima ana babu wanda ya san irin ajiyar da Allah ta'ala ya musu a boye babu wanda ya san irin abin da Allah ta'ala zai ba su cikin aljanna annabi Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam ya je an nuna mushi aljanna an nuna mushi wuta ya ga irin abin da aka tana da nan bayan Allah na ni'imomi da yawa to banda shi babu dan adam wanda ya ga abin da ke cikin aljanna shi sa da ya zo yana bayani wa sahabban sa yayi bayani yayi bayani na abubuwa manya manya wadda ba a taba ganin su ba ba a taba jin su ba yake fiha ma la aynu ra'a wala uznun samia wala khatar ala bali ahad minkum yace a cikin wannan aljanna akwai abin da duk wannan bayani na muku akwai abin da kunne bai taba ji ba ido bai taba gani ba kokolwa bai taba tsammanin sa ba duk Allah ta ala ya tana damma bayin sa na gari a cikin aljanna shi sa duniya in ana maganar lahira da aljanna babu wani abu jin dadi a cikin ta sai dai wahala duk wanda Allah ta ala ya sa cikin aljanna aka ce mafi ƙarshen wanda zai shiga aljanna idan ya shiga sai a bashi saugoman duniya shi shi kadai banyan duniya saugoma shi shi kadai ba najeriya ba ba abuja ba duniya saugoma sai ga cewa duk wanda suke aljanna ba wanda ya kai shi bai san shi ne na karshe ba saboda ni'imomin da ya gani a cikin aljanna da za a bashe ga na wani da sai ka ce yana kwan dan makala shi ne a wani kawai kawai amma saboda can ba bakin ciki kana cikin rayuwarka ba za ka ma ga wadda yafi ka balle ka zaci ko kana neman kari ji kake ba a taba yin gaban ka ba shi sa duk wanda Allah ya taimaka yana hararo abin da aka tana damma yanin aljanna duniya ba za ta burge shi ba babu abin da za ta zo a cikin ta ya zama to wani abu wadda yake har ma ya ta hasada ko yana ta gaba ko yana ta daukan kiyya ko yana daukan dumi akan wakan duniya abin da zai ta hari shine a kai shi wannan gidan wadda babu wadda ya sa abin da aka tana da mutun sai abin da Allah ta'ala ya riga ya sani ya ajiye wata shi sa Allah ta'ala ce fala ta'lamu nafsun babu rai wadda za ta iya bayani cikakken abin da aka ajiye maka cikin aljanna da mutane suna yadda da wannan a aikace da ba wadda zai kashe wani a duniya da ba wadda zai saci kayan wani a duniya me za ka yi me za ka duba abu na wani kai daga naka an aje maka me ma ya mallaka da naka dauki wani kayan sa amma kai hasada to amma da yake imani yana da rauni shi dan yana da karfi sai ka samu wani ma duniyar kawai ya sa a gaba ba ya matan Allahi ran shi sa suke cewa rabbana atina fid dunya wa ma lahu fil akhirati min khalaq suna cewa ya ubangiji ka ba mu a duniya ba su da rabu a lahira amma masu rabu ciya suke rabbana atina fid dunya hasana wa fil akhirati hasana wa qina adhab annar ulaika lahum nasibun mimma kasabu wallahu sari'ul hisab wadda suka san irin abin da aka tana damma mutane a lahira ciya suke ya Allah ka ba mu a duniya kyawawa sa'an nan ka ba mu a lahira kyawawa sa'an nan ka tsare mu daga wutan jahannama wayannan su suka yi mu wurin rayuwa Allah ya sa mu na cikin su 
Allah ta'ala ce fala ta'lamu nafsu ma ukhfi lahu raiba ta sa'a bin aboye musu aka tana dan musu ba min qurrati a'yunin na wato na sanyin idanu abin da idanu za su gani su ji sanyi ka san shi ma ido yana da ni'iman sa idan mutun ya ga mace kikkyawa sai ya samu sanyin idanu haka ma ibidan mace ta ga namiji kikkyawa sai ta samu sai ka rasa ina sanyin idan ya fito haka idan ka dubi danka wata ka haifa sai ka ji sanyin idanu sai ka rasa ina sanyin ya fito da za a jira muka yara wanda shine naka ya fuwa ka sanyin idanu akwai wanda ba dan ka ne ba ta ina yi abin ya fito ba ka sani ba haka Allah ta ala ya dora wa dan adam wasu abubuwan idanun suna samun jin dadin ganin su to haka Allah ta ala ya tare da bayan aljanna abubuwa na sanyin idanu babu iyaka baka ma hada shi da duniya baka da shi da duniya shi sai Allah ta ala ya ce sai ya kawo sanyin idanu min qurrati a'yunin saboda me aka ba su wannan jaza'an bima kanu ya'malun sakamakon abin da suka san ce suna aikatawa a duniya sakamakon ayyukan su na duniya ba wai aikin ne ba su ba shine sanadi sakamakon yawan sujadan su sakamakon rashin girman kansu sakamakon wato ainihin yin sallan daren su wanda aka ambata tambaya sakamakon ayyuka na alkhairi su azmi su zakka su haji su taimaka wa mutane yunfiqun share wa dasuke wannan shi gadar masu ya gadar masu wannan matsayi babba a cikin aljanna Allah ya sa dukkan nan wuna cikin aljanna Allah the most high they said that no soul no soul knows what has been made hidden for them min qurrati ayun of coolness of an eye meaning happiness from what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala prepares for his servants who are obedient in the paradise Allah the most high package the paradise no one knows exactly what is in paradise except the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam who happened to uh, see what was in paradise and he came he made a very beautiful and comprehensive description of the paradise to his companions after mentioning what is there of uh, mansions what is there of rivers what is there of what so many things then the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam made a conclusion for you to uh, know that just you should just imagine but you cannot know exactly what is there until you go he said in paradise are those things that no eye had ever seen no ear have ever heard of and no mind no man has ever thought about them see how man or human being imagine things even your imagination cannot be able to imagine what is there in paradise so this is a kind of a general summary telling you that no one can tell you exactly what is in paradise what has been packaged by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for his obedient servants in paradise Allah ta'ala nafsu ma ukhfi lahu and these mercy and rahma and blessing have been made hidden by Allah the most high purposely for the inhabitant of paradise for happiness that they will never feel sorrow forever jazaa bima kanu ya'malun as a recompense of what they have been doing that is why whosoever is conscious of paradise the reward of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala which he prepared for his obedient servant paradise he will never mind about this world accumulating uh, material material world whatever cost no matter what it costs him even if it costs him of his iman even if it means that he should kill he should eliminate he should assassinate he should commit whatever form of crime he will go ahead doing it but someone who knows allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who aspire to help paradise will be doing what will lead him to that uh, jannah not what is going to 
jeopardize his chances of uh, getting the paradise. May Allah give us his jannah. أَفَمَنْ كَانَ مُؤْمِنًا كَمَنْ كَانَ فَاسِقًا لَا يَسْتَوُونَ To say Allah is the one who 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 is the one To say Allah is the one who 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 is the one She is the one who 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 is the one Yai imani dari cepai, yai imani dari nang kerisih, yai imani dari kadara. Buat dek kita orang nasi kopi, na imani masuk keripik azukatan sih. Saat na ayu kan dari ke ayu katawa suna bayana, hanna fil pelindarian ayi zakat asine. Buat dek kita pasi ki, buat dek beredar Allah ba, beredar manzani ba, beredar dari cepai ba, beredar dari kadara ba. Beda mana saya ahi sabi bersyukur saya sudah dah. Allah Taala itu apa? Kalau tak dah dah jawab. Dia wala kesangka tak kaya bayu apa? Bayar dua. Ah, dapat dek ishang zobo yang ada cing hangkal insa. Dapat apa lagi? Zakat asyik demi pasang berkutu. Dapat gula dapat stout. Apa dah sah dua? Wan cing lagi insya Allah ber. Wan lagi insya Allah cing hangkal insa. Basah dua. Jadi Allah Taala dia tambahkan, ko kasani, ko bukasani ba, si Allah pada ansa, ni cila es tau, badi desi ke bawah jamu, ima kai kai di ima kaji a, di desi ke, tu si me apa ni cia, la es tau na, basa day day, wan cengi dansa, aljana, what day iman, wan nak ko fasika, gidan sa utang jahan nama, so nak awal jang Allah badi desi ke bawah. Jadi sahaja yang tambahan, tambahan ini mungkin yang dah orang cinta hari cinta dah hangkal insa, ia satu orang naik ke suatu hari. Dua minit tambahan yang asal ansa, ia tambahan ini dua minit hangkal yang kita dah orang cinta ke awak nak kuda. Ini kesama ansa si asal ansa, mahu kesama ansa masih minit tambahan, ia asal ansa. Allah Taala cila es tahun, badai di sisi kita. Allah Taala mesti memberi. Say, Afaman kana mu'minan, kaman kana fasiqa Is he or is the one who was a believer Kaman kana fasiqa The same as he who is a transgressor A fasiq, are they the same? They are not the same Someone who believes in Allah as the only deity worthy of being worshipped He believed in his messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam He believes in the Quran he has Iman in the day of Qiyamah, in the angels of Allah. He has Iman in destiny. How can that person be the same with someone who said that Allah does not exist? Or he believes that he exists, but he does not believe in him. There will be no day when we are going to be resurrected, <coughs> where there will be no recompense at all. It is only the life of this world. If it finish, it has finished at end. It has gone forever. So these two can never be equal. Because the abbot of the first one who is a mu'min is the paradise which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala prepares for his obedient servant. While the abbot of the second person who is a fasik, who deny the day of Qiyama and all other things that one should be, be live in, then his one abbot is the hellfire. Allah the Most High says, Liars, taun, they can never be equated. They can never be equal. A mu'min and a fasik. Amma al-ladhina amanu wa amilu salihati falahum jannatul ma'wa falahum jannatul ma'wa nuzulam bima kanu ya'maloon Bala adaydi tawatu Mu'mini dah fasik iba. Tu se Allah Taala yang kau bayani, bayanya cik bela si dia iba. Ye cik amal lah dia na aman. Aci m bayanan dia kebati kena. Si me iman ni ada kos. Dah mana si aku para. Allah Taala cik amal lah dia na aman. Amma wa edusihi de iman. Wa amilu sawali hati. Suka aihi na parai. Suka iman ni de Allah. Suka isallah. 
suka yi zakka suka yi azmi suka yi haji in suna da hali da iko so kauta ta mu iyaye suka nisanci dukkan abin da Allah ta'ala ya hana wa'annan mutanen Allah ta'ala ce falahum jannatul ma'awa suna da gidajen aljanna makoma ma'awa shine idan mutum yake koma gidan su makoman su aljanna ne nan da su koma su shiga har abadan ba za su fita ba sai Allah ta'ala ce nuzulan a cikin aljanna a makoman su suna da wato ainihin abinci na liyafa nuzulan duk lokacin da yazo bayani ne na irin abin da ake tanadan mu ba ko wani abinci idan aka ce za ka yi ba ko wani musamman a gidanka to wani lokaci kakan ga cewa abinci na za a bakon sai yafi irin wanda kake ci a gidan saboda girmama wannan bakon tayo kai ma kakan ci irin sa amma ba kullum ba wadda kake so girmama shi in zai zo gidanka ka gaye ce shi to abinda za ka yi mai na liyafa yakan fi abinda kai kake ci za ka yi mushi ne tunda shi ba kullun yake zuwa ba tayo sai wani shekara ko bayi shekaru ma to a saboda ka Allah ta'ala ce abincin su da za a tanadan masu abincin liyafa ne na baki to su kuma ba maganar na yau ko na gobe a a kullun haka za a yi masu cikin aljanna komai kake so zai zo komai kake so a duniya ba komai kake zo aka samu duk kudin ka da mulkin ka wannan lokaci ma an kawo maka din ba zai ci ba saboda bakin ka bai da dadi baka da lafiya baka jin dadi ga bacci amma can duk abin da kake so a yanda kake son sa haka zai zo baka idan kana son kayan marmari to duk irin wannan kake so itacen da kansa zai zo yi bubbo kansa ya zo yi tsaya a gaban ka ba sai ka ce house boy ya kawo ba ka ce kawo ma shayi mai zafi ya kawo ma mai sanyi ka ce kawo mai sanyi ya kawo mai zafi a shi shayin da kansa zai taho kofan da kansa zai zo yi gabatar da kansa kujera da kake akai ba sai ka taba wani abu ya jin gida ka san ba ture shi yayi wani na'ura da ka taba shi sai ka sa ko ya sama ha shi kujeran kana kana bukatun ya sama akwai computer da zuciyar ka ya hada kujeran sai kujeran ya sama ba sai ka taba wani je ba idan kana so kujeran ya zama to abun kwanciya ne shi da kansa zai miƙar da kansa komai yadda kake son sa haka za mu kashi sai mutun ya je ai eh Allah ya kai mu wani bayan ai baka je ba kai ma kana ta duk malamai da suke bayane bayane ne na karatu eh shi annabi muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam shi ne je gani shi yi bayani shi can bayani amma da ya bayani bayani shi ma ce sai an je Allah ya sa mu na ciki eh akwai alamun haka insha Allah in ka ji ana amin da kai bi to aljannar ne Allah ta'ala ya mana abuwa to liyafa ake musu abinci ne na musamman ake kawo yan aljanna sai Allah ta'ala ce bima kanu ya amaluna saboda ayyukan da suka yi a duniya shine sanadi shi yasa zaka ga ana ta maimaita ayyukan nan ana ta maimaita ayyukan nan yanzu a cikin wannan sura an maimaita ayyuka an maimaita ayyuka saboda Allah yana gina abin da zai baka ne bisa abin da kai ba wai abin da kai ne zai wato aka biya ka bari da za a biya ka abin da kai kai shekara 100 a duniya kana ibada sai a kai ka aljanna shekara 100 shi kenan an biya ka amma biliyoyin shekaru za ka ci aljanna saboda wa'annan ayyukan su suka yi sanadi jaza'an sakamako na abin da mutun ya dan ya kadan a duniya sai a ruban ya mashi a ruban ya mashi a ruban ya mashi har ma ba karshe ba ranan fita bima kanu ya malu shi yasa dole mutun ya aiki dole mai son aljanna ya aiki bai yiwa mutum ya samu aljanna yana bacci ba zai yiwa sai ka tashi ka yaki zuciyarka da kyau ka yaki dukkan abin da za ka yaka ne kai ka ka cimma wannan burin sai nan gobe kiyama mutum ya nasara yana cikin aljanna lokacin kuma duk wahala ta kare ciwo ya kare tsufa ya kare tunani na bakin ciki ya kare duk wani abin da ka sani da baka so ya kare mutum shiga aljanna ba tsufa ba wahala ba a kuna hanya kike na fasun tare ku duk ba wannan to ba ganin kike na ba ai ya kare 
maganar tsoro duk ya kare maganar ramewa maganar juta duk abinda kake zato duk gabaki daya ya kare na wahala Allah ta'ala ya kama gaba da amma alladhina amanu wa amilus salihat as of those who believe and do righteous deed falahum jannatul ma'wa for them is jannah of an abode paradise as an accommodation which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala prepares and they allocate to them eternally perpetually there will be no day they will come out from paradise nuzulam bima kanu ya'malun as a reception uh, for what they have been doing so this is a reception that Allah the Most High prepares for them so a reception from Allah the Most High you can imagine the uh, how Allah the Most High is supreme and this is a reception from him how do you expect a reception from him? Uh, president of Nigeria, for example, or someone who is influential. Even you, if you are going to have a visitor whom is very important to you, and our first visitor, you go extra mile in order to please that your visitor by preparing different types of food, even the one that you do not use to eat in your house, just to make that your visitor uh, happy. So this is a reception from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which he prepared for the believers who do righteous deeds. Therefore, paradise is the house of a, a service. It is until you serve Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you struggle, you suffer, you deny yourself from some enjoyment, you forfeit this and that, then in the end, with this little effort you put, then Allah the Most High will give you what you do not imagine. Because it is not the amount of a service you render to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that will earn you paradise. Rather it is mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is a special favor from Allah the most high. Because uh, if Allah may decide uh, you spend for example 20 or 30 or 40 or 100 years worshiping him, then Allah will say okay your recompense is that you have paradise for the period of 100 years you spend in worshiping. 20 years you worship you, you you spend in worshiping. If Allah gives you this, Allah has paid you. Even if it is less than that, Allah has paid you completely. But this is an allocation that is eternal in nature. No day your tenure will expire. No day Allah will say, okay, this is the end of your stay in paradise. It is forever, forever. Billions, billions. No one knows the end. May Allah the Most High grant us Paradise. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Please, Allah, is it permissible or allowed for a Muslim to hold a pollution to prevent cancellation of his prayer, especially during congressional prayer? Eh, idam mutin iska yana sumputa. Idam ba mekari fi bani sosai. Ba ba lepi mutin yali eshi. Idam liki wang yadan tu ya luku batar da wani abu ya fito ba kuma ba rike wanda zai dinga damun ka a sallah idan to ya hana kan suwa ba to babu lafi ka ma idan mutum ya kwashi abubuwa da yawa a cikin wani in ya zo bude baki in kaga abubuwan da zai kwasa to cikin sai ya rike ci ko ka rike sai ya fito da abin nan baka sani ba to irin wannan kuma ka bar shi ma ya fito ka je ka saki alwala ka dawo na fata an gane la dade za a baka saboda niyyar da kai mai kyau na shigowa musallaci akan kare ko kana sauwun gaba Allah ba zai hana ka wannan ladan ba a shi yasa ba a ci kalmatin ya rike iska idan zai fito idan dai ba mai cutarwa ba ne sai ka rike shi domin kai da sallan ka amma idan ka san ka kwashi maimai ka kwashi kosai ka kwashi ayyuka ka kwashi abubuwa abubuwa duk ya yawa cikin karankansa ya yana cikin bala'i to abin mu ka bar ya fito dan kai sallah ne tsatsan sallah Allah kana sallah kana dan abun nan kana abun ba kamar sarraka da ake ba saboda ka ga ba sallah shi yasa ake so mutun ya rage dan abubuwan eh dan dan kadan dai haka ala bace cikin ya samu dan sauki Allah ya samu daji there is no harm if you feel like uh, releasing gas while you are praying to try and uh, uh, and we hold it without coming out if it's not so aggressive if it is so aggressive no matter how much you 
try to withhold it, it will not accept, it must come out. So what you should do is that if it is so, not so strong, you can, uh, you, you can withhold it and you continue your prayer to the end. However, let that not make you uh, to be unable to perform a, a correct ruku or sujood in the process of making sure that it not come out. However, if it is so strong, there is no way you can withhold it, allow it to come out, go and renew your ablution and come back and join the prayer. Please, who is the most respected from these three people in Islam? Father, mother, and Mala. Three. Look at that. 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 Look at amma dai an buga nan uwa ta fi saboda irin dawanyen da take da shi da kuma bayanai da ya gabata har ma wannan tafsirin da muka yi da Allah tabarak wa ta'ala ce wasaina al-insana bi walidayhi sai Allah ta'ala ce ya dawo kan uwa amalatu ummu wahanan ala wahanin wa hamluhu wa fisaluhu fi amain ya nashkuru li wa li walidayk bayan Allah ya ambaci iyaye da kansa biyu sai dawo kan uwa yi sharhi akan irin dauniyanta da daukan ciki da saukarwa da shayarwa wanda shi uba baya yi sa'an nan kuma ya dawo kansu gaba da yace a kyauta ta musu da kowa ba ta haduwa da kowa a cikin matsayi da daraja wannan ko baya yi nufin idan zaka yi taimako na kudi ko na dukiya ya zanto abin da ka ba mu uwa sai ka ba mu uwa sau uku ka ba mu uwa ba haka kin bi ba wannan lokaci abin da zaka ba mahaifinka zai zamanto da yawa saboda dawainin da yake kansa yana da yawa ita kuma wannan dawainin ya akan ta banda kawai abin da za ta ci da abin da za ta sha shi sai idan ka dubi rabon gado Allah tabarak wa ta'ala ce a ba mu uwa da uba dai bisa shida dai dai raba musu da yazo kuma inda mutum bai da da bai da kowa sai su su biyu da uba da uwa kawai sai ce a ba mu uwa ruban yan abin da za a ba mu uwa a ba mu uwa dai bisa uku a ba mu uba biyu bisa uku hakan ma kuma sai Allah ta'ala ce idan mamacin yana da ɗan uwa to uwa dai bisa shi da za a ba ta duk dukiyan shi za a ba wa saboda me in yana da ɗan uwa kenan uban shi ke daukan da wani ɗan uwa shi ya haife su ita ba za ta masa kuma ba in ta masa ma ta yi sadaka ne ba dole ba ne saka sai aka ruban ya mashi aka ba shi biyar bisa shi da da dukiyan ɗan ita kuma har yanzu aka bata da bisa shida saboda haka shi in aka ce girma da matsayi wa ta fi amma ba ana nufin in zaka ba da wani abu kadidi a zaka dubi yanayi wani lokacin kuma kana iya ba ta fi da uban misali shi yana da dukiya ba iyaka biliyoni a shi duk abin da zaka ba shi ma kawai da zaka ba shi to ita kuma gatan nan ita ke da bukata to anan wajen bayarwa ita zaka ba wa da yawa amma martaba in gana maganar martaba to babu kamar uwa in kuma kana hada uba da malami uba ya fi malami domin shi uba da baka zo duniya ba ma da malami bai karantar da kai ba saka malami zai biyo bayan uba idan ana jerawa shi ma kuma ba wajen taimako ba wajen taimako kana iya taimaka ma malaminka fiye da mahaifinka ta ga mahaifinka yana da wadata ya malaki komai shi malaminka bai da komai abin da zai ci maka gare shi zaka iya bashi miliyan ga ba mahaifinka ko wani abu nake wuta ko na kayan sallah dan dai ka nuna shi ya haife ka a martaba baya nuna abin da ake bayarwa na taimako na duniya amma wannan shine darajan ya ban kasani wallahu alam the three personalities you have mentioned are all important to an individual father mother and once mala all of them are very important to an individual because they had very positive impact in your life However, we have read in this surah, uh, Surah Luqman, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala urges you to be kind on both your parents, uh, but however, Allah emphasizes on the right of uh, one's mother because of the hardship she undergoes of a uh, pregnancy, labor, and so on. So, and then she's followed by the father, and then followed by your mother. However, this categorization does not mean that maybe if you come to render assistance or financial assistance to them, 
then you give your mother more than your father. This depends on the situation or need. Your father is the one who takes care of the responsibility of the whole family. Therefore, his financial burden is more than that of uh, one's mother. Therefore, he deserves to be given more. Uh, also, in a situation whereby maybe your father is uh, extremely rich, but your mother is in need, even if you give him, you just give him for recognition of him being your, your father, then your mother deserves more assistance financially uh, than him. So this depends <coughs> on the situation. And then even in Mira, uh, such, uh, inheritance, see that the share of the father, if a child died, is uh, sometimes see, one third, one, uh, one, one sixth, Sudus, I mean, Sudus. And then what remains will be taken back to the, to the father. And if uh, you have brothers, and it is only mother, father, and brothers left by a deceased, then mother will still take her, her one six, and the father will take his one six, and the remaining will do well because of the responsibility that he takes for the family. And then your malam also is a very important personality because he makes impact in you by teaching you Quran, teaching you Hadith, teaching you so many things that uh, are beneficial to you. Allah Allah. I intend to travel on Friday. Uh, on Friday, is it possible to remove my zakat fitr on or before Friday morning? E, uh, <coughs> Yaw Asherinda Hudu, Gobe Alhamis Asherinda Bir, Juma Akash, Juma Asherinda Shidakane, to Ya 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 Kwana biu ndi ya yi, ndi shi asunna abinda aki soko tinya bayar, rana nsalla kaa pung aji salla. <hesitation> Ndi ansa mu <hesitation> asar watu watu dali lai, nda baga ba tachi wa abayar kwana dai kaa pung salla, nda kwana biu kaa pung salla. Amma kwana hudu ya yi wa. So <hesitation> Friday to the end of Ramadan means there are as much as four days to Salah, so therefore it's not allowed for you to give the Kati Fetal uh, before you travel. Or maybe what you may do, maybe you can uh, take out the quantity, the particular quantity you are going to pay and keep it maybe with your neighbor and tell him that when it is so, so, so time, please give this the Kati Fetal to so, so person or give to whoever is in need. Since you are going to travel, maybe you can, you can do that. Next question, may Almighty Allah have mercy on you, Mala. What is the status of someone who masturbates intentionally because of Hajj during Ramadan on a day time? Yes, I want to ask you to ask me about Ramadan. Do you want to ask me about Ramadan? 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 Na kama muna kama irine, domen aida mang anasu azmi ni hana wana shaur, tu kumu mati ni zaidi kiri kiroshi, kwa kiri kiroshi mana kali fida aji, tu ndoa dusi wana aiking suna kiri kira nsepet damani ni kali fida aji, ba bagana chete chewa wai dole ba, dole shine mati ni na bachi yewo pariki, sabo da yake aori ba da aori yena bachi se yewo pariki. Wala bala ka ma shino lalima amma da yini shi da kansa da da ko sabulu ko da ko a wun da ki amma yini shi ya fadda mani da karbi wana ka para da yi do ma yini ya chaza da pung mata ramadan a bun da yi shi ni a bin da wad da a yi ni ta ki ma che yi kuma da din da wan che yi shi ma shi yini wa yi ji a lai sa wati he who must be bet in the day of ramadan has committed a grievous sin he violate the sanctity and the honor of Ramadan, that is the first, and also his fasting gets vitiated, and then he must 
make up that fasting along with kafar, meaning he will fast 61 days consecutively because of this, the gravity of what he has done because it is intentional. If it is a dream, dream is unintentional because no one knows when he will have the dream. If it is his choice, he will not even have the dream. We just see him in that, himself in that situation. So that is why there is nothing against one who had a dream in the night, only to take his uh, bath and then continue his activities of uh, worship. Allah save us. Last question. Is it good for a Muslim when something bad happens to him? He will shout, Jesus. I'm not a Muslim. 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 Kau buka aja nggak dengar, cuma ada masih rumah dan cewa kerabing al amari ni ama iya kau mungkin nggak halak apa apa. Demba kecerah mohon i demba Allah bukan aja musibah yang mana. Allah kadai aja kira. Bukan sih kadai ke AI muka. Ulangi musibah na. Ila mak kata Allah bukan. Abu mula na. Allah lina ilah sabat musibah kalu inna lillahi wa inna ilaihi rajul. Mana aja musibah yang paling dia mana. Allah esok aja mesti. Ama ide ya ke sih tuwa. Dulu kecenderungan Abu Ibrahim dah kekira Allah, Allah yang langsung kekira si. Kemudian ia ini maka, kemudian ia bakal ada. Amma yang kekira orang bahawa Allah bakal hisi syirka. Dulu hisi syirka nampak, ia ada, ia ada waktu aining, waktu no o i daban daban. Saya kekari nak abang Amma saya ke mungkin kau tengah nak makai saya. Duk abin dah mesti yang Allah ni kebam wani tu kai syirka. Dua salang ke dua azam kebade pita kama. Dua Allah beda ke bawah ke bawah wan mas ayam sebeda ba. Ko dewasa. Di cepat beda ba. Tu mas ayam seni anang kecirashi. Ko an nabi baca kecirawa alok. Tu dah kecirawa ni awan nama mas ayam memukak kecira Allah kecirawa ni tu kata Allah dah wan nang adidi. Si ni bawa misir kajen. Ko mas ayam rusa ayu kemudian kebaki dah ataji. Jisa syirka hasil ini beba akan muslimi. What they keep kata itu Allah, ye bama Allah, ye bama wanita masih yang Allah dah Allah. Saya ke bana bana jem muslimi dia akan Nigeria. Amma idanya isi itu tua. Dua minggu abin tak kita tua Allah dia asal dan tua. Allah yang sama ke. The answer to this question is that hardly would a Muslim shout Jesus. As a form of, or as a mark of exclamation, or something that had happened. Uh, what some Muslims normally do, they shout, "Shew!" Different "Shew!" Either "Shew to Jani," or "Shew to Mbodi," or "Shew," whatever. Even "Shew to Mbono." Some. <laughs> so, uh, but for a Muslim eh, to say uh, Jesus is tantamount to shirk because it is only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala whom you should invoke so in a situation whereby it is only Allah that you should call nobody can assist you nobody can free you from whatever danger except Allah whoever you call even if it is Jesus yes Jesus is a messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam but it is shirk because you are equating him we are making me equal with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah will never take it kindly with anybody who does this. Even if it is Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, you call in that situation, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will never take it kindly because it is shit.